and that is the calcifying epithelial urontogenic tumor this is also called as the pinned box tumor well the pinned box tumor we know is classified as a uh, pretty uncommon uh, benign urontogenic neoplasm that is exclusively of epithelial in origin just like the ameloblastoma but just like ameloblastoma it is also locally aggressive neoplasm Talking about the origin of uh, the pinbox tumor or the calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor, now the lesion arises from either the cell of stratum intermedium of enamel organ or the reduced enamel epithelium or even the remnants of the dental lamina. Now, its biological behavior is very similar to that of ameloblastoma. However, it differs from ameloblastoma by the fact that it is composed of spherical cells and not like ameloblast-like cells as seen in the ameloblastoma. Moreover, you can also see some calcifying epithelium uh, material which is seen within the masses and uh, these two are two differentiating features from that of the ameloblastoma and these uh, spherical cells of calcified material is never seen in ameloblastoma well the tumor is pretty common within the ages of 40 years and both the sexes are equally affected unlike where in ameloblastoma there is slight male predilection and uh, the side that is the mandible is more commonly involved than the uh, maxilla and the mandibular molar region is more commonly associated Associated with calcified epithelial odontogenic tumor. Well, in about 50% of the cases, the neoplasm can also be associated with an impacted tooth. Well, uh, talking about the uh, tumor presentation, the tumor usually presents as a slow uh, enlarging painless swelling of the jaw with expansion and distortion of the cortical plates and the swelling is usually bony hard and clinically it can either uh, be well defined or diffuse in nature and the displacement of regional teeth and derangement of occlusion and facial symmetry which is commonly present and pain and paresthesia are other related symptoms depending upon if there is a uh, compression of the nerve and large maxillary lesions may invade into the atrium and nasal flow just like that of the ameloblastoma well extra osseous or peripheral lesions may cause non-specific sessile uh, superficial uh, soft tissue swelling of the gingiva either in the tooth bearing or the edentulous areas of the anterior jaw so the extra osseous form is a little common in the anterior jaw when compared to that of the intra osseous variety now talking about the radiographic feature of uh, uh, calcifying epithelial or ontogenic cyst is that radiographically uh, this tumor presents as a well-defined multilocular very rarely unilocular radiolucent area in the jaw in some cases there may appear to be a combined pattern of radiolucency and radio opacity with many small irregular bony trabeculae transversing the radiolucent area in many direction producing a multilocular or a honeycomb pattern but the most important pattern that you have to remember is the scattered fleckles of calcification throughout the radiolucency give a descriptive term called as the driven snow appearance and in some instances the lesion is totally radiolucent and, it, and, and is in association with an impacted tooth thus leading to a mistaken clinical diagnosis of dentigerous cyst well, on CT examination, uh, the calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor in the mandible demonstrates expansion and thinning of buccal and lingual cortical plates uh, by a well-defined mask containing scattered radio-opaque areas of varying sizes. So this is about the radiological features of um, calcifying epithelial odontogenic cyst. Talking about the histological features. Well, the calcifying epithelial or ontogenic cyst or uh, the tumor is a non-encapsulated lesion and sometimes it becomes locally aggressive in nature. Well, the tumor reveals uh, sheaths or islands of closely packed polyhedral epithelial cells and a non-inflamed connective tissue stroma. You will also see that the calcified material is present in concentric laminated rings which are called as the Lysengang rings and uh, you will also see some amount of homogeneous uh, hyaline material which is often deposited between the tumor cells with stains like amyloids and uh, 
one of the most distinct uh, histological features like we spoke about that you have to remember is the calcified epithelial odontogenic tumor shows presence of several uh, calcified bodies that is the Lysengang rings well also there is a variant of um, a calcifying epithelial odontogenic cyst which shows some amount of uh, clear cells and um, and this tumor uh, exhibits a, a clear vacuolated cytoplasm rather than a eosinophilic cytoplasm and the nucleuses may remain round or oval in center of the cells or may be flattened against the cell membrane while well, talking about the um, um, uh, treatment of calcifying epithelial odontogenic cyst is surgical enucleation and incomplete removal of the e of the lesion is likely to followed by reoccurrence because we know it's a non encapsulated lesion well, this is about the calcifying epithelial odontogenic cyst. For complete oral pathology lectures, you can visit and DM me on my Instagram page that is Noor Saira Wajid. Uh, these are in-depth lectures of oral pathology on oral medicine along with thousands of fresh MCQs. Uh, lectures and MCQs are made by aggregating information from various important sources which will help you excel both in your university examinations and entrance examinations like those of NEAT MDS and AIMS MDS. For more information, you can visit my Instagram page or DM me to have a chat. Have a good day.